All right, what's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. All right, so let's get to the facts because I don't care about people's feelings. I don't care about people's emotions. I don't care about people's thoughts. I'm here for the facts and the numbers, okay? All right, so uh, PlayStation released this video today, the PS5 Pro technical presentation hosted by Mark Cerny, where he, for a short time, eight minutes, went into uh, the PS5 Pro and the improvements they are making with it, and the price is $700. And I like what he was talking about and the information that he provided about the improvements for this console and the information that, uh, that came out afterwards. All right, so let's get to it. Let's break this down. All right, PlayStation 5 Pro uh, coming out November 7th. Pre-orders uh, start September 26th, I believe they said. Uh, for $700, here are the details. Comes with a two terabyte SSD. No disk drive, I don't give a fuck about a disk drive. I don't buy, I don't buy uh, physical games. Compatible with all PS5 accessories, that means the, you know, the disk drive um, that you can buy for like $80. Uh, built with the goal to now play games in their quality graphic modes at 60 FPS instead of needing perform performance mode. You could have stopped right there and I would have been like, that's fucking enough for me. That's it. A every time we've had a conversation about this thing, I'm like, bro, if this thing can just literally bring games such as Hogwarts Legacy or Final Fantasy 16 or Final Fantasy Remake or uh, Wukong or Space Marine, if it can bring these games that in their quality mode run at 1080p 60 and some and some of these that run at uh 1080p or 1440p um and drop down below 60 frames they kind of straggle in the 40s or the low 50s if they can get that to like a 1440p 60 that's all the fuck i needed to hear I've been saying that. Now you're telling me this thing is going to allow me to play games in their fidelity mode. That's the, qu that's the quality mode, if I'm understanding. They mean fidelity mode, uh, graphics setting at 60 instead of needing performance mode? Sign me up. The fuck are we talking about? Sign me the fuck up. I don't got to compromise no more. Now, once again, there's going to be some, I think there's going to be some nuance for the, for the most part, right? But if it's going, generally, it's going to do that for, for game performance, what the fuck? I'm, listen, day one, upgraded GPU, 67% uh, more compute units than PS5, 28% faster memory, 45% faster rendering, uh, ray tracing, I don't care about ray tracing, um, the AI upscaler, the PSSR. Um, uses machine learning to provide super sharp image uh, clarity. PS5 Game Boost can automatically stabilize or improve uh, the performance of 8,500 backwards compatible PS4 games. Enhance IQ and resolution of select PS4 games. Uh, some PS5 and Pro, uh, PS5 Pro enhanced games uh, will include Alan Wake 2, Assassin's Creed Shadows, Demon Souls, Dragon, uh, Dragon's Dogma 2, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, Grand, Grand Turismo 7, Hogwarts Legacy, uh, Horizon Forbidden West, Marvel Spider-Man 2, Ratchet and Clank, Crew Motorfest, The First Ascendant, Last of Us Part 2, and more. Um, just to... Oh, and uh, so here's some other details. Uh, PSSR will work on PSVR 2 games in the future. Uh, they're planned 4 to 50 games with... PS5 Pro upgrades at launch, focusing on 4K 60 upgrades along, along with graphic boost. PS5 Pro could spark a range of extra gaming modes. Cerny uh, has seen games with three different uh, PS5 Pro modes. Uh, over 25% of PS5 uh, owners own a 120 uh, FPS, well, Hertz, uh, cable TV. That's about uh, around one in 10 players have a VRR, uh, VRR uh, cable TV. 
uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth in particular uh, popped compared to the fuzzy graphics on the existing PS5 version. Um, everything was sharper and still 60 FPS. It felt like putting new glasses on. Um, Gran Turismo 7 includes an 8K mode and 4K mode with ray tracing. It's funny, I, that, I, I literally made that comparison on Weapon Wheel a few weeks ago, um, where I was talking about when I first got glasses in um, tw like 2016, and I put on glasses for the first time, and I never realized how fucking bad my vision was. That's literally like <laughs> the exact example um, they used. So, bro, I, I could not be, be happier about this, because here's the thing, right? People confuse... Oh, you're happy to pay money. You're happy to give money with, I just want a result. I don't, I'm not happy to give anybody any money. And I don't like, they try to like twit, like these weirdos and pocket watchers, no pocket watching allowed, try to twist it as low. You're just happy to give away money. No, I like performance and I like results. I'm a result person. I'm a result type person where the obstacle in the way of the result, I'm willing to do what it takes to get past the obst obstacle so I can have the result. Bro, my, P my PC right now, I'm, all the parts together, pretty sh this, this one um, is over $3,000. I've had more expensive PCs in the past. Right now, I have a 4070 Ti right, it, GPU right now. Bro, th th I had a 4090 at, at one point. Only reason I got rid of it was because like the whole year when it came out, it was like, bro, I, there's, there hasn't been like one game that is really even slightly taking advantage of this. So I was like, oh, I might as well sell this, make a profit and downgrade to the 4070 Ti. But my point is, money is relative. Stop pocket watching and for performance, for the performance that I like and that and, and what I want, I'm willing to pay that. And I don't get mad at anybody who doesn't want to. And and even when it comes to other feels, I don't get mad at other, what other people pay for certain things. Some people like luxury cars. There's some people that I've seen pay like a thousand dollars for for a pair of headphones, audio files. They pay, they pay 2000 go, go, go see what an audiophile spends their money on. And you would think they're crazy. People who collect things pay insane amount of money for these things, for what they want, because value is subjective. So I may, so that's why I don't cry. I don't cry about price. I don't cry about what other people pay for things. Price and cost has always been a conversation that you can't find me crying about it. I may say that, hey, I'm not going to buy, buy something, a particular something, because I don't particularly see the value in it. But I'm, I've never gotten upset at someone else buying something that's expensive it's a, if it's a fucking option. And I truly don't understand this culture of getting mad at people for buying something that they have the capability to buy and why it bothers people. I don't get it. So what? Something is expensive. Why is that so infuriating to some people? It, it, what, what, also, what I also don't understand is there are literally people saying that they will not buy a PS5 Pro no matter what, and they are upset about the price. You weren't going to buy it. What the fuck are you upset about? I don't under it, it's I've never understood the shit. Never understood, bro. I don't get it. So, and it's so funny. Like it, it's so people are so people lack so much self awareness that they don't realize that they do the exact same thing, just with other just with other products. The exact same thing. And. And it's like, it goes completely over their head that, bro, you spend an absorbent amount of money on something else that is purely optional and, and purely just hobby based. But because it's something you like and you find value in, you think anybody that buys something that you don't see value in, you think they're crazy. Lack of self-awareness. 
But I'm excited about this PS5 Pro. Um, I'm definitely pre-ordering day one. Can't wait. Can't w- I can't wait to see like more breakdowns and analysis and and performance on the difference this thing 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 makes because I I thought it was going to be I was wrong about the price I thought it was going to be six hundred dollars right but the fact that it's seven hundred dollars and with everything that I broke down there all the information that's come c- came out this is not a PS a PS four to PS four Pro. This is not that. This is not that. This is a significantly, seemingly significantly larger jump than the PS4 to PS4 Pro. The PS5 to PS5 Pro seems significant, even though uh, it's the it's the um, like they haven't made much changes to the uh, to the, any changes. I think it was it to the to the CPU, bro. The difference is still going to be noticeable and significant. So I look forward to this thing. Um, I will tolerate no pocket watching. Uh, if, you, if you are mad, listen, if you are mad at somebody who buys something, you are a pocket watcher. That, that is literally because you have no, it's, if it's not coming out of your wallet and it's not harming you and you're mad about it, you have to be like on the spectrum to be upset about it. You either got to be on the spectrum or you got to be a pocket watcher. So which one? So, uh, yeah, those are the details. Uh, let me know what y'all think about this. I don't, I don't think I got anything else to say. I, I think that, I think that uh, wraps it up. I think that summarizes it, man. I'm glad they made more of a jump um, than just, you know, some minimal marginal marginal shit just to keep the price down because once again the this is for the enthusiasts and the people who care about the little pixels and every little pixel and every little fps right so it you they were already probably pricing themselves out from the casuals who don't really care about this stuff so yeah why go why go halfway go go above that because this is for the enthusiasts. This is for the people who really care. This is only for like 10% of their, aud- their audience. And they know that. And they said, hey, well, might as, might as well go all the fucking way. I think when we finally like start to see like the breakdowns, this thing will speak for itself. And I, this thing will justify itself. So, yeah. Um. And for people who people who always want, to, oh, you have a PC. Yeah, there are day one games that don't go to that, that don't go to uh, uh, PC. Okay, there are games that don't always go to go to PC. Mainly PlayStation exclusives and the and the uh, the games that they make partnerships with. And those games, the frame rate, the resolution, sometimes ain't the ain't the best. So second party games, third party shit that they make deals with. Though those are the games that I would play that that why I want something like this, where the PC isn't just doesn't have it. There are those situations um, and just other situations. If I want to even if I just wanted for any other reason to play a goddamn multiplat on my on my PS5 instead of my PC. Glad I have the option to. And there's less compromise now. So this is a win win. There's no losing this for me. Let me know what y'all think. I'm out of here. Let the tears begin to fall from all the pocket watchers. Tears. All right, I'm out. Salute. I'm a uh, follow me on Twitter. Uh, hit the like button. I'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace.